Hey everyone, check out this video of this gentleman from Arab descent who's discussing the differences between embedded ideas in Arab culture as opposed to that which is in Jewish culture. That he encountered several people, including his own father, whose lives were saved by Jews and they were embarrassed by the fact that they owe their life to a Jew. Take a look at what he says and uh, we'll talk about it in just a moment. You see, my father was saved by a Jewish doctor because Arab doctors couldn't figure out what, what's wrong with him. Until today, I ask my Arab, my Arab father, I ask him, why don't you pray for the Jewish doctor who saved your life? And his answer is simply put, is that I cannot pray for my enemy. But in a Jewish book, I learned that I must pray for my enemy and love my enemy, exactly as what she was saying. That's why the Jew knows love more than anybody else. That's why it's the Jew who will rescue a Muslim, a Lebanese, regardless of their religion, regardless of their background, in the hospitals. It was a Jew who saved my cousin, Ibrahim Awadallah, who drowned in the Mediterranean Sea. When two other Muslims started to rescue him, they both drowned and died. A Jew comes by and he takes empty gallons from the trunk of his car, swims towards him and rescues his life. But when I went to congratulate him for his life being rescued, and I mentioned to him that it was a Jew who rescued your life, I was instantly yanked out of the room and told and scourged, don't you ever mention that a Jew rescued his life. He hates the thought of a Jew rescuing his life. The question is, why do you still do it? Why do you still rescue us even though we want to murder you? Why do you hide your children while we put our children in the front to die so we can make propaganda? Why do we sell our children to the god Molech in terrorism? Why do we sacrifice our children for such a religion that teaches hatred? Why do we do it? Why is there so much evil in today's world? Well, wow, this video is really powerful, and it has a, a core value that Judaism treasures, the idea of adding light. So powerful, so necessary in our world. That no matter what, no matter who a person is, no matter what the situation is, the ideal thing that we can do is add light. He asked the question, why does so much evil exist in the world today? Well, evil can only exist, evil is only a vacuum of where light has not been put. And so if we use the opportunity to put light, the darkness goes away. Evil doesn't exist. I'm, re I'm reminded of a story of someone who once went to the Lubavitcher Rebbe and asked him to curse all of the enemies of the Jews. And the Rebbe responded, well, why curse them? Why not rather pray for them that they should repent, that they should turn around, that they should have their evil uh, worldviews, their skewed worldviews, transformed into good and live a good life themselves? In other words, why combat the darkness? Why not simply add light? And I think these stories are good indicators of the Jewish message of always trying to add light to the situation. Do the right thing no matter what, and uh, the world will be a much better place.